Welcome back. This is the continuation of Let's Fly Kerbal Space Program. I am, uh, my YouTube name is The Winter Owl. On most gaming forums, I usually call myself White Owl. My real name is Matt. Call me any one of those if you like. Um, okay, so what happened last time? I've, I did a, a couple of things off screen as, as, since the last time I recorded, just uh, as a couple of slight tweaks to the design here. Um, I actually did realize before a couple of people pointed out to me that I was that I was being a moron about uh, what I was doing with the fuel lines. Uh, I, I fixed I fixed this uh, so that uh, my my four uh, wing tanks, my four uh, the, the ones that are mounted of over and above above the wing and below the wing, these are feeding into my tip tanks, and the tip tanks are feeding into. Um, into the this the small tank back here um, so in and, and I'll decouple get rid of all four of these these upper and lower tanks at the same time and I'll use the tip tanks to get back to um, to get back yeah back to uh, back from the moon back to Kerbin sometimes I can't talk but okay so we've got this all set up um actually hang on I'm, th I'm seeing a problem here. I'm seeing a problem here. Um, it looks to me like those fuel lines... The fuel line is hitting that decoupler, isn't it? Oh, maybe I need to fix that. Hang on! Okay, yeah, that's good. That's... Ignore that. Let's let's fix this problem just while I'm here. Wow, I'm glad I saw that. Let's see if I can highlight the part that I want. Alright, alright, I believe that should work. Okay, so the, the big problem that I was running into this thing, um, I, I took off, uh, and I was the, the whole assembly was in very, very tail-heavy. Uh, so I've got a couple things I want to do to try to fix this issue. First thing, let's turn the symmetry on. I'm going to move my wings backwards some. I'll put them back here. And I'm also going to add a little bit of weight to the nose here. Probably, if I were smart, I would I would um, just do one fix or the other. But, uh, I don't know. It was extremely tail heavy, <laughs> so I'm going to try them both. Okay, okay. So, so yeah, here's the. Here's the design. Here's the we got this solid rocket booster gives it helps get the thing off the off off the ground and gets it moving. I got all the, all the other engines are will help will help to get it up up to altitude. I'm going to use the the wings and everything to to take this aircraft. Uh, previous testing when I was doing the that flight tutorial, um, I I believe that this basic design of my of my big mothership will remain controllable up to say usually between 15 kilometers and 18 kilometers uh, around there around that altitude I'm going to decouple from the mothership and I'm um, hopefully just this one engine um, I don't know I haven't really tested it out <laughs> hopefully just this one engine will be sufficient to to take to take this um, the vehicle the rest of the way into orbit and to the moon and back I may have to, I don't know, I may, may have to put like extra extra boosters on my orbiter or something. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. Let's go. Ooh. ooh. Yeah, that thing's got, that's got a really big honking nose on it, didn't it? <laughs> okay, let's throttle up. All right, Kerbals. We, you remember the last crew... They survived, so you just, just remember that, okay? Here we go, pitching forward, pitching forward. Okay, it seems a little to throttle back some. I'm just gonna play it by ear. This seems more controllable than last time. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Of course, I've got that solid rocket booster that's burning. 
wonder what's going to happen whenever that thing burns out. That may have been a bad idea. Point this over towards 90. Yeah, this is working. This is um, this is more stable. It's actually kind of nose heavy at the moment, but I'm expecting it's going to burn a lot of fuel. What is the stuff? The, the little specks of whatever going by in the atmosphere. I don't know what that is. What is that supposed to represent? Sometimes it's there, and most of the time it isn't. Solid rocket booster is just about done. We're about to lose some of its thrust. Let's get rid of that thing. Okay, now pitch forward. Let's try and get some controllability here. Controllability, we just became much more tail heavy again. Come on, guys. Let's try it this way. Oh, that's better. Almost better. Let's try SAS. Will the SAS work? Yeah, okay, this is this is working. We got something resembling no, no, that's actually not working so well. Oh, oh, what happened? What happened? What what the what the hell? Separation to stage 8, that went okay. The decoupler shroud is damaged by engine exhaust, but that's okay. Structural failure and linkage between RCS tank and C7 RCS tank mark 2. Why did that... The, okay, so I've got two RCS tanks on my orbiter and the structural failure between them. Why? That was insane. Why did those things break? I mean, at that point, the solid rocket booster is already gone. This engine had not yet even fired. I... what? I... okay, well, let's try... Why would that break? Unless it was... I've got struts... Okay, well, let's just put... let's slap some struts on it. Maybe it's... it's, it's gotta be all the... all the force... from... I've got all these struts... From the tanks attached to either side of that thing. That was very surprising to me. Okay. Okay, we can deal with it though. We have an underside. Will this work? There we go. Okay. Okay, got that thing all stratified. Now, I'm thinking that maybe this whole... Yeah, the whole issue with that solid rocket booster, that, putting that back there, that wasn't actually helping. How much, how much thrust did that thing give us? Let's, t let's, let's take a look at this here. That thing gave us that's yeah that's 230 thrust and a bunch of weight for mass. I've got this engine here. I could get rid of that mass, add a total of two more mass and a total of three. You know what? It'd be a better idea, especially now that I've got all this extra fuel. Hang on. Let's get rid of that damn thing. Don't need it. I am going to. Oop, hang on. Let me move some of this stuff around here. So I got my joystick sitting like in half my mouse pad over here. I was gonna 
take that off and move it around if I'm going to be working on stuff. Alright, here's the plan. Get rid of that solid rocket booster. Get rid of these two engines. Instead, I'm going to go with this 450 thrust. Okay, now let me see. Let's make certain that these things... Ah, see. Why is the game putting them up there? I don't want them to up there. I want them down here. Okay, and let's build my stilts again. Oh, that's what I want over here. Okay, where did it decide to put these decouplers? Yeah, the game's default state. It's always putting all this junk in the wrong spots. Okay, okay, yeah. And that'll work for those. I don't really care when the those things fire because uh, and they're just they're just stilts as long as they they fire after after my my aircraft is already taken off okay let's see what happens let's see what happens here let's do some launching still got that big honking nose in that thing throttling up we set to go, we're set to go, let's launch. Ooh! I tell you right now, my immediate response here is I think, I think I like it. Let's do a more moderate throttle setting. Ooh, yeah, okay, this is, this is acting controllable, guys. This is acting pleasant. A little more throttle. nose heavy at the moment, which is actually what I want, because that means that as it burns fuel, it'll move towards being more balanced before it becomes tail heavy. Okay. Okay, this is controllable. I like this. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about the mission this time, guys. Except I just noticed one thing. Oh, except no, my 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 orbiter's engine is firing. That's bad. I didn't want that to fire. Wait. Oh, it's burning all the it's burning the wrong fuel. Oh, that's just bad. I wonder. What is oh. Oh. Wow. Okay, so structural failure linkage between C7 RCS RCS tanks. And RCS tank exploded due to overheating. Is it because it's thrusting here when it's not ready to go? Maybe it's thrust. I bet you that's. I bet you that's the problem. Is that this engine here is fire? Yeah. What, why is that? Why the hell is that thing firing? I thought I fixed this problem earlier. Boom, put it right there instead. Okay. Okay, okay, let's try again.